What is up you guys? Welcome back to another clearance hunting video. If you're new here, my name's Drew. I also go by Hunter of the Clearance where I go out to the big box stores like Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot, Target and find great clearance deals and bring them straight to you. Today we're going to be focusing on Lowe's today guys. I've got a few items that I've been keeping my eye on. They're dropping down in price and I want to take you with me to see if we can find them. So come on in guys, let's go check it out. I want you to keep an eye out for this one right here, guys. Eight equals 20. I don't know if this is the one, but it's supposed to be on clearance is eight equals 20. I'm just seeing this as I'm walking in the door, but this is not what we're looking for, guys. All right, we've got a few things on the list for today. Um, one of them is actually going to be in, well, it should be over here in uh, Lawn and Garden. It goes for your grill. It's a temperature probe. So I'll have to look around in here and see if I can find it. I got barcodes to all of the items that we need. Now there is a lot of clearance going on. Outdoor patio uh, section, guys. Please check it out. That's not why we're here today, but I just wanted to point it out as I'm passing right by it. This is a good deal on some Zepco rods. Was 40, now 20. Not too bad. Now a lot of this stuff is gonna to continue to drop, guys, and I want you to just keep your eye on it. So we have uh, the barbecue um, sensor is one. The other one, the other two are gonna be in Tool World. One is gonna be a torque wrench, and the other is gonna be a boring bit. And then there's two other ones that are in, um, let me think about it, probably gonna be in the home section, maybe even lighting. One is a rope light, a 24 foot rope light and the other one is a basket all these items are uh have dropped drastically there are limited stock um to maybe e even in stock but i got all the barcodes we're gonna go check it out have somebody scan it so we're not running around the store just willy-nilly looking for things but let me go find somebody to scan it and we'll start off first with that barbecue sensor all right guys so he did scan the barcode it did say they have two and the last four or the last three items that we're looking for are four five five so we're checking top stock we're not seeing any thermometers down here in the bottom as well um we do have four five five up there but that is a grill triangle brush the item was last scanned in or last sold in december of last year so it's been eight months since they've actually sold it um there are many factors that go into play when trying to find items they could be uh the count could be off they could have gotten stolen or they could be in a location not necessarily where it would have been so my next suggestion to the gentleman helping me is in the cage up front where we found in the last video i'll link that one up here in the last video we found the google three pack cameras as well as the google nest both of those were in the cage so i'm wondering if that if both of those thermometers are in the cage as well um we'll have to go up there and check but we're gonna keep our eye out and keep looking so i'm gonna keep checking up top um i have a feeling that it's not up there um when they did that last uh inventory audit or inventory circulation check whatever you want to call um if they did it correctly then they would have found that it's not up there so i have a feeling it's up in the cage or the counts are off but i will show you a picture as well as the item number it's going to be product number and a upc from BrickSeek. i will put that up on the screen right here for you so you can take a look at that and see if it's in your area we're going to keep looking all right now we weren't able to find it okay it did say two let me stop the card so you can hear me it did say two guys for those yummy probes once again i'll link 
the uh, product number as well as the UPC right up here so you can try to go see if it's in your area. We were thinking it's in the cage. We went up there to look, it wasn't there. Um, now the other two items we have are rope lights. The 24 foot um, Utilitech is just Lowe's brand name. Utilitech, 24 foot, it only showed one. When it shows one, two, maybe three, when it start gets above two or three, then you might be into something. But when it shows one, you might as well just chuck it out the door and call it a day. But I will put the Utilitech rope light 24 foot right up here, the product number as well as the photo and the UPC. The next one on the list was a basket, a metal basket that for a dollar. That one was also showing one on hand. I'll put that up here as well with the product in the UPC so you can try to go find all of those two items in your area. Um, now the last two we have are in Tool World. One is a Cobalt Torque Wrench. Now it's priced up there, still high at $89. I think I might wait for it to drop again, but I, it did say that they had two. Um, we're gonna go over there and take a look to see if we can find it. I have a feeling it'll be there because the price is still pretty high. But even at $89, I think there was still about a $60 profit to be made there. And the, uh, the last and final item is a wood boring bit. Uh, I believe the brand name was Ir Irwing. Um, it did say two. More than likely, with that being such a small item, the count's gonna be off or it got stolen. And that was a dollar. So we end up making a couple bucks on that one for profit as well. I was really hoping that they were gonna have more than a few than just one. Actually, it said it had two than just two. But you win some, you lose some. Let's go back here first before we go into Tool World. We're gonna go back here and check the clearance items that are on the end caps. These are where most of the items that are on clearance should be placed. Um, give or take some of the more expensive high dollar items which would be in that cage that's in the front of each and every store. So let's go back in here and see if we can find anything else in the clearance section. If you guys are enjoying the content thus far, please smash the like button guys. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest videos that go out, guys. It really helps the channel and it really helps the channel grow. I appreciate it. Let's go see what we can find. Now the clearance end caps, you'll be able to see them because they've got yellow on there. No home, look at that up there, no home. That's interesting. Usually when it doesn't have a home, it's hard to find. Here, we got two clearance caps right here. Now it does look like some of the, uh, everything must go, all items 75% off. Oh, okay, all right. Let's see what we got. Now we might have to get our uh, our app out and take a look. I think that's just set here. These eight inch shower faucet offset shaft. I'm curious about these window units. Patio door, large window insulation kit. Hmm. Let's see what it'll bring. We're gonna grab the Amazon seller app and we are going to scan the barcode and see. We're gonna see if this brings us anything. So the buy box is at it has no sales rank. Fees are really high on this item. Six bucks. I mean, if that's a dollar, then maybe it might be worth it. So I'm just going to grab a quick view of the Scoutify app and see. All right, so there's no rank available. There's nobody on FBA. We're going to check Keeper real quick and it doesn't sell. So that's probably why it's here. When you have the tools to check profitability and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sales rank as well as if the item sells or not, that really helps you out. 
Those are all tools that you don't necessarily need, but as you grow, these are all tools that I recommend you have. We're gonna just check over here to see if there's anything else. Most of these are just a couple bucks off here, a couple bucks there. I'm just not seeing anything else through here. Let's check this one clearance end cap. Now these may be worth something, but once again, there's no price on them. We're not selling sanitizer wands. Those don't work. Now we have a Black & Decker 29 piece drill driver set. It says 89 on it. You know what we should do is get this scanned and see if it actually is 89. As well as some of these right in through here. Let me see if I can get somebody to help us and scan these two items as well as this thing and we'll go from there. All right guys, so none of those items were actually on clearance. They all were on the clearance aisle, but none of them were on clearance. So let's go back over to the tool world. Let's see if we can find that cobalt torque wrench as well as the uh, drill bit, which we probably will not find because there was only two of them. I'm just looking in right through here because I did pick up a truck. I'm trying to see if they have it. It was a truck um, roof ladder. It might be in that next aisle over there. It was a truck um, ladder rack that I did pick up for $79. Um, they were originally $319. So I was just curious to see if they had another one. I've already picked up two of them, already sold one. Um, just trying to see if they're over here. Not seeing them. Here we go. What's this? That's a van rack. We're looking for the truck rack. Which that is the new one. The old one is a skinny box. Like this skinny, but it's very long. And I'm not seeing it here. All right, let's go over to the tool world and see what we can find. All right, let's see if we can find it. this right here it'll be easy for us to go in here and kind of weave in and out now looking for torque wrenches it's probably in that next aisle over there let's scoot around here here we go So I'm thinking it's, it's gotta be one of these in here. It's a half inch digital, half inch 50 by 200 torque wrench. I have a feeling it's this right here. What I'll do guys is I'll link a picture up here with the product number as well as the UPC, so you can look it up in your uh, area and see if it's uh, located in your area. But um, it was originally 199, like this says right here. I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer on it to see if it drops again, but I believe it is that one. Now the last and final item is that Irwin. Um, I'm gonna actually pull it up so we can make sure that we have the right item. It's an Irwin, I think it's an Irwin wood boring bit. An Irwin wood boring bit, okay? 
Yeah, right here. 3 8 wood boring ship auger drill bit. Uh, let's see. Now with two of them on hand, they're probably not here. But let's go down to the wood boring bit area and see if we can find it. You guys are enjoying the content thus far please smash the like button guys it really helps the channel out. i appreciate you for watching the video today uh these are concrete masonry bits getting into wood boring bits here speed bore what do we have what do we have wood boring ship auger drill bit wood boring ship auger drill bit five eighths three quarters it said they had two of them it's three eighths and it should be erwing so it should be right in here sometimes you can find them sitting down here because they don't really have a home anymore But I'm just not seeing it. Half inch, half inch, half inch. Spider three eighths. No, I'm not seeing it. Well, we struck out today, guys. I mean, we weren't able to get anything, but at least I was able to show you some of the items that are, are on clearance and hopefully you can find them in your area. If you enjoyed today's video on your way out, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next money saving video, guys. Peace out.